morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lisa if you're new around here i wanted to introduce the vlog today because we are decorating for autumn finally and um i feel like this has been a long time coming so i'm very excited to share this video with you today and i also wanted to talk to you guys about a movie that we watched on the weekend because as you know we're part of the sky cinema club we get to pick from a selection of movies each month and review them for you basically so i've been doing this for quite a few months now i'm really really happy to be working with sky on this video the movie that i chose to watch this month was mona lisa and the blood moon i thought this would be a great one to incorporate into this video because halloween is coming up it's autumn now and and this is basically like a horror comedy movie and I've never really watched a horror comedy I don't really think I haven't it's not really a genre that I tend to go for these days but I fancied watching it because I thought you know Halloween's coming up I wanted to watch something a little bit more spooky a little bit more you know dramatic and this definitely was Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon so Mona Lisa basically is a character, she's a young girl and she's escaped from an asylum. She's been in there for like, I think something like 12 years. Um, she's so she's a young girl, she escapes, she becomes friend with a stripper who is Kate Hudson. So Kate Hudson's in the movie. She's so different in this movie compared to any other movie that you would kind of see her in, like um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, my favorite, one of my favorite movies, completely different character. But it was really nice to see her in a different light. So Mona Lisa has some like special abilities to be able to um, control people's minds. They're, they're like her puppets when she gets into their minds. So they can do whatever she wants them to do. Kate Hudson, also known as Bonnie in the movie, becomes friends with Mona Lisa and kind of takes her in under her wing. But she quickly realises her special powers. And Bonnie being a stripper, she obviously takes that into her advantage and kind of takes advantage of Mona Lisa a little bit. But I don't want to tell you any more because I feel like I'm going to spoil it. She comes across so many different people, like of course the cops, they're trying to get her back into this asylum doesn't really go well for the cop what i loved about it as well it really reminded me like the kind of start of it really reminded me of the later versions of american horror stories it has got a really lovely ending it did make me smile so if you're looking for kind of like a sci-fi horror with a little bit of a comedy element to it then definitely check it out i feel like all of the scenery and everything was quite sci-fi very colorful and i really really enjoyed that stylistic element to it i thought it was really good so if you want a new movie to watch then definitely check out Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. If you've seen it already then let me know your thoughts on the movie. Sky bring out a new movie every week so there's a great Sky original or blockbuster movie that you can watch. I have been loving so many movies. Last month we watched Sing 2, one of my favourites. We've watched it non-stop since and I'm looking forward to loads of new movies in the future. So yeah, let me know what you're currently watching at the moment. I am getting ready at the minute but I've just been talking about then get ready have a nice so um, I need to do my mascara. I think if I was to have a special power or ability, I think actually mind control would be a really, really good one. Mark said that he wanted to fly if he could have a special power. I think flying would be quite good, but I think mind control would be a really great one as well. So I think I would go with Mona Lisa's ability to mind control people. Um, but yeah, let me know what your special power would be if you could have any special power. <laughs> We've got another busy week this week with the bathroom. I feel like there's a few different things. So we've got things like skimming being done this week. I'm actually filming a video like showing what's happening each day. So I think maybe in the next video you'll see a massive change in the bathroom. And I'm also gonna show you our stair renovation so far. So there's lots to be caught up on in the next video, which I'm really excited to show you. But I really wanted to get today's video up so I can show you kind of our autumn decorations so far. So if you'd like to decorate with me for autumn then let's get into the video and enjoy make sure you've got a nice hot drink to enjoy and some snacks finally time to decorate for autumn i feel like i'm so late this year when it comes to decorating for autumn in fact i think last year i uploaded my autumn decorate with me around the 7th of November, uh, september i think it was so i would have decorated like probably the week before that and it's the 21st of september now and i've still not put anything out it's been such a hectic few weeks we've had like everything going on obviously with the kids going back to school and then the bathroom getting started the stairs so there's constantly been like people in and out of the house and today hey i'm on my own and i just wanted to take my time and get some christmas not christmas i just wanted to take my time and get some autumn bits out so we're just going to do this quite relaxed 
I just want to do it in my own time. I'm not going to do like a big deep clean or anything like that. I just want to switch out my autumn decor and make myself feel really nice and cozy. It's a really sunny day today and it's just got me thinking about um, a TikTok and a reel that I uploaded recently uh, from Hocus Pocus. I will upload it here so you can just see how I feel today. Oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Honestly, I'm over this sunshine. I'm ready for the rain. Give me the rain today. Although the only time I don't want the rain is when it's a school run, when that is the only time that it tends to rain these days when it's a school run. But anyway, it's a really sunny day today. I needed it to be like a gloomy day for it to be autumnal, but we're gonna do our best today to make it nice and cozy. So let's do it. I'm so excited. Milan is behind me living his best snoozy life. I mean, look at that. So, so cute. He's having a gorgeous sleep. And I feel like Gigi, because she's a bit older, she's awake more at this time. It's literally like having babies. So Gigi, she is up here. She absolutely loves this bed, guys. Do you remember me buying this? She likes to watch out the window. She's currently having a little clean. So that is Gigi and Milan. They're having a nice relaxing morning. And now I'm gonna get some autumn decor out. So let me show you a few of the bits that I've got. So I've been collecting quite a few items over the last few months. Of course, you'll see some bits that I've had for a few years now. So like these pumpkins, for example, I've had for quite a while. There are quite a few additions this year. Some from TK Maxx and HomeSense and others are thrifted and second hand. So there's quite a few different bits in here which I'm really excited to kind of show you and get out. I thought I would bring this one down from upstairs because I feel like that's quite autumnal as well. Um, but yeah, I think today the main focus is gonna be the living room because at the moment it's a mess. This is just how it's been left this morning. The kids are at school now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I've got with regards to all of the different cushions and stuff. And then we will switch those out because that's my favorite thing to do when I'm kind of doing this room. And it's the easiest way to make your room feel different is to switch out the cushion covers. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I'm just procrastinating today. I feel like I'm procrastinating. Hello, darling. Oh. Isn't he getting big, guys? He's getting so big. He's such a darling. He purrs all the time. And then look at this beautiful girl. Hello, darling. Are you purring as well? This is lovely. Sorry, I won't disturb you. You're having a good clean. <gasps> My phone. My phone is ringing. Hold on. I feel like this cat tree is going to be a lovely spot for me to put my camera. Yeah. We're good there, so let's get rid of all of this stuff. Why do kids do this? They take their socks off, clothes off, throw them everywhere. Constantly finding socks. This is why we have odd socks in this house. I bought a few new cushion covers in the H&M sale the other week. So I'm gonna use these, and although they're not like that autumnal, I just like the kind of more muted, neutral tones. So we're gonna add that, and then we'll add a pop of like burnt orange, I think, today. So I'm gonna add those. I bought some new cushion infills. We'll see how these ones look because they're a nice like rectangular shape as well which is a little bit different i love that that is so so lovely and it's got that kind of checkerboard feel to it which i think is really quite in at the moment like i see a lot of checkerboard decor at the minute i've seen loads of checkerboard rugs and throws and this has kind of got that nod to the checkerboard without it being completely checkerboard if you know what i mean so i've got a couple of those which are nice Okay, so I feel like this combination looks all right. So I'm gonna kind of leave it like that. I like the mix of like the black and beige and the added pop of orange. I feel like the yellow is still, it's just a little bit too spring for me. So I'm gonna go in with this charcoal kind of gray throw. I'm gonna pop this onto my chair. I like this one. This one's from Ikea. I've got it in a few different colors actually. And I'm just going to kind of drape this over.
don't tend to use this radiator uh, bed anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I might put this somewhere else in the house on a different radiator and see if they still like it. If not, I can kind of donate it or something like that. But currently they don't sleep on it. So there's no point having it on the radiator here. Yes. how to decorate this table here so I've grabbed a few pieces I'm just gonna have a little play around with them and see what we can come up with these are the favorite bits but I don't really know if any of them really go so let's have a little look and see what we can come up with I did get this from the charity shop not too long ago and I feel like this is a good basket but it's maybe for something I don't know where I could put it really I haven't got that many like places I could put it underneath actually hold on Let's take all this off. I absolutely love this vase. I got this from TK Maxx not too long ago. It's recycled glass and I love like all of the different irregularities in it. I just think that is so beautiful. So I've got some different like faux stems. These ones here I got from Etsy and then the green ones are from Ikea. So I'm going to start playing around with those and see what we can kind of create with that. So I'm going to add the green first and then go in with some of the orange which I've got here. I've just bent the stem slightly because they're a little bit too long. So that's just the easiest way to get it into this vase. Like so. This is so pretty. I love it. Are you coming to have a little look, Milan? I feel like I should have bought two of these um, sets of flowers. I only bought the one set, although there's quite a few stems in here, actually. It could have done with just one more, I think. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Milan is playing with the bunny tails, which is funny. Right, and then one more I think on this side. We've got a nice autumnal flower arrangement, which I think is so pretty. I've got this orange book here, which I thought would be nice because obviously it's orange. It is the Manifest book by Roxy Nafusi. I think that's how you say it. Um, so we can pop that either on top like so. That could look quite nice and then maybe have the basket next to it. Yeah, I think that works quite nice actually. But I'm not gonna be able to use this, which I love this. I got this from the charity shop not too long ago and it's got a little tea light in it. So I could probably pop that somewhere else in here in a minute. But I think that's pretty. I think what I'm gonna do is use this for the remote because it's like a little basket. So I'll pop these beads in there because I love these beads. You know, I use these every time I decorate. <laughs> I got these on Amazon a little while ago. They probably still have them on there actually and I just kind of tie them in a knot so they're not too long and then I'm going to put them in here and then just have them like so which I think that is nice like that. No pumpkins here though actually. Do I need a pumpkin? Also that's not really going to work is it? No definitely not. Definitely not to those away. We'll put those somewhere else shall we? Up on the mantel I've got these candles here which I got a little while ago and I love them but I think we'll switch them out for autumn. So I've got these brass ones and I bought some kind of burnt orange candles from H&M so I'm going to use those ones. I feel like the orange definitely adds that little bit of drama especially with the candles being so tall. I think they're a nice little combination with the brass as well so let's pop those up and see how they look. So I love how those candles look, but I'm not sure about everything else on here. I need to have a little look at what else I can find to pop up here. But I have got some candles I want to hang, so well, that might be enough. Okay, so I can't really show you too much out here because we're currently having our stairs done, which are covered because of all the bathroom work as well. As you can see, it's nowhere near finished, but um, it's kind of ruining the autumn vibe. But anyway, um, I thought I would show you where I've put those candles that were on the mantel. So I've put those here. One of them is on like an antique book. 
Sorry, my land is making so much noise. He's playing at the minute with the toy. Um, and then I've got this painting. Do you remember I got this from the charity shop or the antique shop actually for five pounds? I'm just putting it on a Zara stand that I got a little while back. They still have it in stock actually. And then that's the painting. How gorgeous is that? Such a beautiful autumnal painting. And then I've got this vase, which I got from Asda. And I'm going to show you the um, stems that I'm going to put in it now. They're so beautiful. These are the stems that I got. So I bought four of these. They come like so. They are from Dunelm. They also have them in a really beautiful kind of amber colour. But I went for this really dark burgundy because I thought this would work well at Christmas time as well. So I got four of those and I've just spread them out to really kind of give that volume that I want. So I'm gonna pop those in the vase. I'm just gonna place them in like so. They're not the longest stems, so you have to be quite tactful with the placement. That is what I'm going to do this year for this kind of autumn decor. So we've got the dark green candles, which really picks up the green from the picture that we've got there, the painting. Then we've got this gorgeous burgundy, which I think is just a really cosy kind of colour. I love these branches. I think they're like, they look so beautiful, especially in this kind of old looking vase, which is from Asda. I think it looks really, really lovely. Once the stairs are done, it's going to be a really lovely view. I'll give you a little sneak preview um, just under there. It will look really good. I'm really excited. But yes, it's kind of ruining the vibe so far. Um, but yeah, I'm not really going to do much else out here. The main focus today was in the living room. Um, but I thought I would just show you those pieces because I really love them all together. I think it looks really gorgeous. I think we should probably add a few autumnal touches onto the shelves in here as well. I bought some books from an antiques fair not too long ago and they're red and gold which i think is going to work really well not only for christmas but also autumn i think red is a nice autumnal color as well i'm going to stack a few of the red books and pop them in here i just think it's going to add an extra pop of color i feel like we need to add this little guy in here because he kind of matches the decor doesn't he He's got that gorgeous kind of goldy bronze look, which I love in the shelving cabinet. And I think he's going to look perfect. Oh my gosh, he looks perfect in there, look. That looks cute. I like that. So I've added the red books in here, just like so. Then we've got Mark's cricket trophy. We've added this little guy, which looks cute. Again, these are all quite autumnal colours in here anyway. But we're just adding an extra kind of pop of colour. I've popped this one down here. Right, I wanted to show you some candles I bought the other day on Amazon. So I went for grey, which I don't really usually go for anymore. I don't go for anything grey these days. But these are faux candles. They're like LED candles. And they also come with a remote. So I thought that would be so good. I could put these actually on the mantle maybe. That might work quite nicely. Um, they had them in cream. I think they had them in white actually and then they had them in this color as well and look you've just got a little bit of glow adds a bit of a a cozy vibe to the room i love that it looks so real that doesn't it and again i just thought that'd be nice it's a nice safe way to have candles in the house and um, because obviously we have we do have cats and obviously we've got young children as well so i wanted something that was going to be safe but something that i can just put on you know when everyone is around like with the candles i put them on when i'm obviously in the room but with this one i don't have to worry i can just have these on and they look so real this is so good there's like a little timer on the remote so you can like set it for two hours four eight you can have it on candle or light mode let's turn them all on candle oh candles like where they're flickering like an actual candle or you just have them on light you can even you can even dim them. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I need to put these up so I can show you, but like, can you see it flickering? It looks like an actual candle. I've just put a cat up on the mantle. Oh my God, look, this feels cozy now with the lights. I put this cat up here because I was just being a bit crazy. You know, like sometimes there's decor that is so like novelty, which I'm not really into the novelty decor, but I just think it's fun for the kids. So I don't know. Let's have a look and see what we can do with those. These candles though, they are definitely, definitely going up. There's nowhere ever to put you guys. This is just annoying. Hold on. I think two candles up there look nice. I've just popped that one down there for now. I need to get some new batteries for that one because they're running out their old batteries. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this little section up here. I feel like this is too higgledy piggledy. But anyway, I like these candles. They look cool. I'm going to have a little play around with this area later on, but for now.
it's fine and the candles are fab oh my god so cool it's on candle mode now so can you see they're kind of like flickering see it's such a big mantle but it's not very deep so it's quite hard to find items that fit on there that are not going to like fall over the edge because as you can see from this area here it's not like that deep of a mantelpiece so I have to be careful with what I put on there but I love the candles I think they look fabulous what do you think of this little setup on the table I think it looks cute so we've got a couple of pumpkins in there we've obviously got the orangey tones which is the nod to autumn I love it I think it looks nice I've popped another pumpkin over there but yeah this is kind of how we're looking at the minute talking of candles I did also buy these and these are floating candles so they've got this like really tiny wire on the end of them and you can basically hang them from the ceiling or wherever you want and I was thinking they might look quite good up here and they could look quite cool over by the mantle area as well like have them all like different heights I've seen that quite a few times so I'm gonna see if I can do something like that um, today but I need to get some more batteries because I haven't got enough six more of these but obviously i haven't got any batteries so we'll just see how these look today i feel like matilda <laughs> okay ready guys let's see what these look like ready one two three it's like the Frido light switch on 2022 oh they look really cool you can't even see them they look so good guys i can't wait to put the rest up these look so pretty. See, they just look like they're floating. Obviously, they're going to stop in a minute, but they're just moving because they're, like, settling. But I think that looks really cool. It looks really, like, whimsical. I can't wait to put the rest up. I need to get a few more up for sure. But I think that's going to be really, like, effective. I love that. I have got some, like, bats to put on the wall, but someone did say not to put them on the wall because it ruins the walls. So I need to find a different place to put them. Um, but I did have some bats to put on there, but I think for now, I'm just really pleased with these little lights. I think they look really cool. I love that. Again, I think I got these on, I think I got these ones on Etsy actually, but you can get them on Amazon as well. I wanted to show you this because I bought this from B&M and basically it's like spider web. They have it in black as well, but I'm going to get this out a little bit closer to Halloween and kind of drape it over the decor like you can see they've done here I'm just going to add some like draped um little bits of spider web just to make it look a little bit more spooky I think the kids will really like that um but I don't think I'll do that today because I don't really want the Halloween vibe in here just yet I just want it to kind of be a little bit more autumnal Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed getting cozy and autumnal with me today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all in my next video. Also, make sure you check out Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. I'll leave the trailer link down below for you so you can check that one out and let me know if you've seen it already as well. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.